The selection of former Taidong County Commissioner Justin Huang as vice president for the Control Yen has met with almost unanimous opposition, leading to the cancellation of a news conference to announce his nomination. Huang's party, the KMT, says his party membership will be suspended, stressing that he should have asked the party's permission before accepting the nomination. Lawmakers from other parties have joined in condemning President Tsai's selection of Huang for the top watchdog body. This is party politics. A great person achieves their position through their own work and not thanks to the charity of others. The selection of the former Taidong County Commissioner for the Control Yuan has met with widespread uproar. On Friday morning, the KMT announced it was suspending Huang's membership and asked his Taidong party office to take swift disciplinary action. Justin Huang has these problems that have been corrected, and he has also been sentenced on criminal charges. We are resolutely opposed to the president's selection of Justin Huang as vice president of the Control Yuan. The Taiwan People's Party cannot support this list of Control Yuan candidates. The list has met with strong disapproval from opposition parties, but also within the DPP. Government lawmakers Wang Dingyu and Lin Shufen have voiced their objections in Facebook posts. The president declined to speak to reporters ahead of a presidential office meeting to discuss the Control Yuan candidates. A press conference scheduled for 3 p.m. on Friday was supposed to announce the new Control Yuan president and members, but it was postponed indefinitely amid the furor. Nonetheless, the Control Yuan candidates showed up at the presidential office for a pre-nomination chat with President Tsai. As they trooped out of the presidential office one by one, Huang was notable by his absence. He held his own press conference on Friday afternoon. Tears in his eyes, Huang promised to leave the KMT if it doesn't support his selection for the Control Yuan. I myself am extremely surprised to be selected. I thank the President for her trust in me, but the two most important reasons I decided to accept were as follows. Firstly, the Control Yuan exercises independent power beyond all party affiliations, and this is a role where I could do something for the nation and for society. Secondly, I can be the best bridge between the people and the official establishment. Huang was asked to comment on the suspension of his KMT party membership. The party has announced that, and, well, I'm sorry about it. There's not much I can do. But I think in the end, I would hope to receive the KMT's blessing. The Control Yuan nominees were supposed to be announced this week, and in theory, the list would proceed to be approved by lawmakers. But that schedule has been thrown off now. The president has heard the criticism of Huang's selection and is seeking a less controversial option to switch to.